Hello everyone, let us have some fun by coding in Java. But before we go straight to the coding part, let me do a quick demonstration of the program that I have just created. So let's build first and then click the run button. So this is the main interface for the login uh, page. So username, password, login. Welcome, you are logged in. So, uh, this button add new asset for adding assets to the system. So, let's try to add one. We'll suppose we will be adding the LCD projector, and then description will be brand will be Canon, and then model will be uh, for demonstration only. We'll try LX50. 502x and then uh, uh, brightness uh, let's say 5000 lumens because the brightness of the LCD projector is measured by lumens so example we have the PO number for this will be okay this one amount for this LCD projector is let's for example 24,300 then you put two unit and then you order this in 2021 October 23 then on the second day you receive the unit and the invoice and the supplier name will be Canon uh, Limited no Canon uh, Industries limited okay then warranty will be uh, let's say one year warranty okay so click save so information added so it will pop up here and the bottom part so so we have seven items inside the database suppose you wanted to edit the projector details you wanted to add more details like for example uh, 4000 each UHD ultra high definition and then suppose the amount is not 23 24,300 but 24,500 then just uh, edit the amount and click update so data has been updated so it will be reflected in the uh, in the details so now let's go to this uh, view inventory so this is a simple syst uh, interface for my inventory and currently there's nothing inside so this is where we do the coding we are going to display the this one these details into our inventory interface this one okay so let me close the program and go to our coding page so we will be needing the first thing we need to do is to import all the name spaces put it under the uh, package so this will take care of all the imports and then okay so We'll declare a variable. We'll will declare it five private and static final string variable. Uh, we will call this username, and uh, by default, uh, the the username is root, and then another static final string for the password and that by default it is empty another uh, another variables final string uh, let's name it asset tv equals uh, uh, jdbz mm -hmm. colon my sql uh, colon double forward slash localhost and then colon 3306 then slash the name of our database this is the name of our database asset account 
so uh, set account so that's it and then mm -hmm. let's create a connection variable connection sql con equals to null let's also create prepared statement variable prepared statement we call this pst is also null and then a result set result set will be okay also null and uh, we will also be needing two integer variables we'll use this x y okay so double check yeah this is all we need for the declaration of variables now just right below the constructor we are going to create a function here public void no public void show table data okay and then so but uh, our statements inside these functions will be also put inside the uh, try and catch statement so here we'll be using the class that this one the, the first and then uh, um, we'll be using the com dot mysql dot cg dot jdbc dot driver now we are going to use our sql connection variable this one mm. is equal to driver manager dot there's a lot of options here but one thing we need is the first one so this will have the three variables here asset db and username uh -huh. and the password and then the semicolon oops yeah okay now our pre prepared statement will be sql con that uh, prepare statement this one prepare statement so this will be our sql query so select asterisk from our table this one add asset info so add asset info and then semicolon and then we are going to execute this statement so pst dot uh, execute query but we will put this inside our result set variable mm -hmm. and then uh, we will create a result set metadata result set metadata uh, let's create an instance variable is equal to rs dot get metadata okay go down and then uh, we'll be using the variable y to store our uh, to store our column count so data dot get column count this statement here we will be using inside our uh, for loop because this will take care of counting the how many columns we have in the result set metadata so default uh, table this is for the j table uh, default table model let's call it this table records is equal to 
the fourth table model and then the name of our table so this one the name of our table is j table one so back to our design j table one dot um, oops dot get uh, there you are get model and then table records dot we will set the row count to row count to zero okay now to loop inside the uh, result set we will be using the while loop while while loop so rs dot so there's a lot of options to the rs here but we will be looking at the, this one the next so and then before doing the for loop we will create a vector uh, variable uh, we will call this column no 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 column data is equal to new vector okay so this is the for loop Oops. for loop so x is equal to 1 x is less than or equal to the value in the y here and then x increment x if the condition is true execute inside the execute the statement inside the for loop so this one is column data uh, dot add no 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 column data dot yeah this one add object the rs is our object for the result set and then dot get uh, get short this is for the first column uh, ID so this is the yeah this is for the first column ID and then we need 10 more we need one more okay so this is asset name and then this is description PO number amount uh, quantity date of order date of invoice supplier name warranty notes now let's take care of the column type so this is string no not starting but string and then also this one is string u number is string and then this one also string 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 and string but the uh, amount will be oops uh, will be double get double get double and quantity will be get int okay after that as long as the condition is true we will uh, add table rows no table records dot add uh, add the vector the column vector okay now we are still having the errors uh -huh. let's take care of the errors 
so this is inside the while loop this is okay catch oh now the error disappear so this one will be exception and this portion will throws an error if there is any error during the uh, execution of the program and it will be shown inside using the j option pane that show message dialog so the first argument is null and ax so there are no more error except for this one now uh, because yeah we put extra comma okay no more error so let's try to run the program to see if it works run file please wait the class paths oh there's nothing so why let's check the code yeah everything is correct ah okay we forgot to call this method here inside the class constructor okay let's try again build and then run oh we have an error unknown database asset account so we'll check that error ah this one we forgot the letter c so build again okay and run there you are so the details are now displayed so let's run the whole program now minimize this one minimize minimize so username password log in you are log in so this is correct now our inventory now it has the data on it so thank you everyone for watching and next video will be creating these search functions where if you are trying to search any asset it will display only that asset here in the bottom portion thank you everyone